All right, so what's going to happen here is when I hit play, I got this. And I attach my simple ray casting script to it. And when I get close, life goes down. But no action happens. These guns don't flash. So what I want to do is show you how to trigger a render. All right, and how that looks is this. Well, let's name the script. Trigger render. Okay, let's edit that script. And what I want to do here is pull in some code from another thing called the simple raycast script. Okay, and the simple raycast, raycast script is basically the one that sees the player. We wrote that in another, one of the other ones. What's nice about this is there is a nice area here. It's a static variable called random chance, which is a number that flashes negative 1 to negative 10. Actually, I would say that is, oops, yeah, oops, just my bad vision, 1 to 10. So 1 to 10. Um, now, what we're going to do is use that to our advantage, this random character, to trigger the render on his little gun. Very simple script. Very simple. But it'll show you how to trigger a render using an if statement. So right now, what I need is my random number in here. In order to do that, I need to go variable random. Because anytime you're pulling a or a, a veritable from another script, you need a placeholder for it. And that's going to be that place right there. So random equals simple ray cast. And that thing is called random chance there we go and you can always check the spelling to make sure it's random chance you can always copy that and paste it over here if you feel that you need to do that and if the now new random because I just shortened it down is greater than seven do something so every once in a while it is greater than seven so it's totally random so it's render period enable uh, render -er. period enable equals true there we go and then I'm going to close it off but what I'm going to also do is open it back up else you haven't seen else yet else is a nice little thing that says okay if it's not a return it's else so else what happens well I'm going to say it's going to be false Just like that. And let's close that out. And what I'm going to do is attach that to the mesh called Blast. All right, so let's see what happens. Right now it's off by default until I get near and now it's taking life down very cool and that is how you trigger a render using a if else statement enjoy on to the next video